Hi guys and gals, Shane Stevenson again, and this is a really awesome episode, and we hope that you enjoy it. So we're slowly and surely through each episode working our way forward and aft, and right now we are, as evidence behind me, at frame 110, probably right where we are, 111, and this is an exciting space. The first thing we'd like to point out is this ballistic hash that is that we, you saw a few seconds ago. This, from the blueprints, uh, in 1945 and also in the 1960s, is here. In 1945, it's actually inside the barbette for turret 63. So it's fabulous. There's great physical evidence of it here. And so we would be standing in 1945 to 49, we'd be standing inside that armored barbette here on the second platform. Now you've seen the inside of a six inch turret. The first episode we did, we are in 61. And so if you can picture that, it's here. One of the coolest evidences of that will be right above you. Yes, so I'm standing underneath the remains of the six inch ammunition hoist. And if we look up, you can see the circular blank that went over the armored column to bring the ammunition up. And that's definitely the most noticeable remain of the six inch space. But there are a few more right down here. So this stanchion here is the remains of a bulkhead to separate the ammunition hoist and the six inch powder room. So there would have been a door either on this side or that side to pass the powder through. And then this stanchion here is the remains of another bulkhead that separated the six inch powder and the five inch powder, if you remember that from last episode. So where I'm standing now, is the former five inch powder magazine for the center aft twin mount. And you can remember the door between this space and the ammunition hoist was blocked off by that metal grating, but here we can see it from this side of the wall. So that's really a fabulous space. We got three, we've got three spaces in here, five inch, six inch, and then the actual hoist room. So as we move back forward to show you some more evidence, this is a good time to talk about, they made this one large space in 1960 for the Mark 111 gun plot computer for the Talos missile system. As mentioned in an earlier episode, the whole aft superstructure from the main deck most of the way down was dedicated to the first guided missiles program the, and the largest, the Talos missile. And you can see evidence of that with the power uh, panels, power carts, computer components here. And what this computer did was it calculated using the uh, SPG-49 and the SPW-2s one tracking the target, one guiding the missile, and so it took those two computations, calculated it together, and then plotted a solution for the missile to make sure it's hitting the target. So let's see what uh, Lucas has in store for us next on the aft end of this space. So the last thing to point out is here in this tight space between the M concept and the shaft alley. So on this wall, we can just barely make out the remains of the aft passage from rear six inch powder rooms to this handling space. So I do remember from current 62 and 61, we have this kind of circular link that's for the pass through bell. And we can just barely make the top of a door. That would have been the door in actual pass through. Door should be around here. Yeah, 
So this is a really great episode with a lot of evidence. So we've seen turret 61, 62, all six of the five inch twins, turret 63, this space that only leaves turret 64 left. And we hope you come on with us on the last episode to look at those that space that used to be turret 64.